Hey Scrappers, how we doing? Welcome back to another Unreal Productions video by myself. You're all looking well after Christmas. I can see you all there in the, in the screen. Well, not really, but behind your cameras and whatever else you're looking at. I reckon you're all looking fantastic after that uh, Christmas dinner, etc. that you've had. Looking great. But today, what brings me to you is something I have okay let's see see my finger over there okay something over there it's a pump radio let's grab this and we will turn it there you go look at that a big a big ass pump radio this particular thing I found in the bin several weeks ago I was passing by one of the uh, um, plumber contracting joints around the corner somewhere and um, I had a look in their skip bin and I found this. I've had it laying around the yard, well, in an appropriate place anyway, around the yard for several weeks, okay? Several weeks I've had it there. And I thought, well, We've just had a hell of a scrapping marathon with uh, mum and dad, they were just over, they've gone, they've been here all day, been here all day, and we've been doing a uh, scrap fest. I didn't do any video of it, I mean, I'm not going to worry about it, I'm more busy running around showing them what to do, etc, so that they can learn, and uh, I think they enjoyed themselves, so they said they will be back, as long as there's food again. Because the wife made them some spring rolls and uh, stuff and some sweet chilli sauce for dipping. It was a very nice lunch. Anyway, in regards to the pump. Now, um, if you're part of his channel, Johnny Swedish Scrapper, you would have seen him do not a pump like that. It's a different sort of pump, but nonetheless, it was a pump. Um, he did a video on scrapping a pump. Now, lo and behold... I just so happened to find that pump the day before he did the video, but I just hadn't bothered to do it. So um, I'm going to have my turn at tearing this bad boy down. Now, if you want to have a look, we can have a look at some information here if you like. Let's turn this around. Let's have a look at a little bit of information. It means a whole lot of stuff all to me. Maybe you'll make something of it, okay? I looked for a weight, but its official weight is bloody heavy. Well, I chucked it on a scale, it weighed 24 kilos. I think it's time to rip in. Less talk, more scrapping before we wrap this up for the day and head upstairs for a shower. So, the first thing we're going to do in regards to this is I'm going to cut this. Cut this cable okay cut it off get rid of it I don't need it there beautiful cable cut cables now cut we've tidied it up just a little bit um, I've got to remove these nuts around the side as you can see here a bit of rust around there as well but hopefully that doesn't make it an issue I would say that obviously these nuts and screw things are stainless steel due to the lack of rust that's why they look so hardy and still so fresh but got to cut a little bit more cable As it falls on the floor and inside this thing here I don't know what's in it but it sounds like there's some ball or something of sorts I maybe I'll open this up later cable in there let's pick up this and we shall cut this plug 
mind you, it's not very camera friendly. Because I'm now doing this with one hand. Just so you get a bit of a view. Unreal. Plug. In there. Cable. Not worth stripping in my opinion. Certainly not going to waste me time. That's not a great view either, but nonetheless, it's already heavy duty as it is. Nice thick black plastic. Better value there and sold as is. Now to undo the nuts, we need a size 14 of one of them. Let's get her off. And now you unscrew pretty easily. Love that stuff. Love it. I guess now we either crack this seal maybe with a cold chisel or something this will be interesting trust me and also I guess somehow if I can if this top here comes out I don't know okay honestly I don't know this is going to be uh, this is all foreign to me so I'm just going to play it as we go now I just had this laid on its side, going to get ready to crack it open here on that seal and I noticed there's some more nuts, screws on the 
the very bottom here. So maybe I shall remove them first before we go on, just in case they affect the cracking of the seal and removing this bottom plate here. I don't bloody know, but we're just gonna do it anyway. Better to do it first and then find out you need to do it later. And just to avoid a bit of camera wobble, I've somewhat loosened these already with the size 14. Ah, shout out. Goodness. A bit for what? A bit for what? Oh, another thing I've noticed here is, in this little hole, it requires an Allen key to loosen whatever's holding that in, which must be this metal turbine thing. Hmm, interesting. Interesting. Good view of my, fan of my fingers. Hope you like it. Allen keys. Don't mind the wind either, she's a bit blowy this afternoon. It's actually been blowy all day. So, Allen key. Now this would be interesting. So, how do we meant to loosen that off? Mmm. Good. That there ain't gonna work, is it? Not without all the camera wobble too. Actually, I've got a better idea, but it's a matter of having something there to hold it. to lock it in place. Sweet. Wow, just pops out like that. Beautiful. Is it just steel? Is it stainless? Ah, steel. Boo. Heavy steel nonetheless. Alright, now I'm going to lay this down to try to crack the seal again. Now this may get a little noisy. Sweet. Falls out. Still come out of simple. There we go. And again, maybe it will. Okay. got more um, Allen keys as you can see and you can hear the strain under my breath there I do undo right here so let's get these undone Thank you. 
Cleaned up the oil, I've drained it as well so it doesn't keep running over the table. Now removing this casing, as we'll have a look at it here, a bit of a closer look. Removing this casing here, this is going to take a little bit of extra work. So to save filming and watching me slowly work this case out, I'm just going to do this now, work on it, and once I get to the close to getting it out, I shall start filming but essentially I'm just going to keep using this chisel and hammer and see how we go now this thing's giving me a bit of grief I'm a little stuck so um, I'm not entirely sure what I've got to do right now I'm going to pull this grinder out probably a little late in the afternoon for it I might just trim a line through here and see what happens okay it could be a waste of time it may not rough as guts on the grinder. Okay, look out Damien, we've had a little bit of luck here. The electric motor is right beneath this, as I can see. This is the uh, outside casing that we're trying to cut there, along with this thin stuff here. Just a little bit more noise, and I reckon we're just about there. Oh. That's better. Unreal. There we have this lovely motor inside. Now it's probably wise that I remove it from this cast. The reason being is an electric motor with the cast attached pays half the price of a normal electric motor. So for example, I'm getting just over like a dollar six a kilo for um, your normal electric motor with cast metal attached to your electric motor like this here don't worry about this part here that's fine but this cast metal here cast steel here i'm only going to get like 50. i didn't know that's cast yeah that's cast, cast mate cast so i'm only going to get 50 cents a kilo if i was to sell it as it is so um i'd yeah. rather the whole dollar dollar six instead of 50 cents but we've still just got to work out how to properly remove it Now I just removed this top here, okay, this top, I thought if I just got rid of this top I might be able to slide this motor straight out. Mm -hmm. Now the motor was on top of this. Now what happened? Daddy, what? Happened? Don't worry about that, that's my toe. 
Yeah, what happened? She's not going nothing. Now this was stuck on top of that, on top of this bearing here. It was stuck on top of the bearing, so all I did was to knock that off again, laid this on its side, cold chisel and a hammer, and she popped right off. As I said, everything's learning, and out she comes. Oh yeah, that's nice. The rest, cast, steel. I won't do any more with this. I'm happy enough. But, let's lay that down. That is very nice. Very nice indeed. How many kilos? I don't know, but I reckon we can find out. Zero. Oh, that there, stainless steel. Beautiful. Oh, ah. oh, there we go, a bit of focus. Seven and a half kilos for that electric motor. So, that'll be a little over, well, a little over $7.50 for that. Yeah, something like that anyway. Whatever it's gonna be, $7.50. Yeah. I don't know, well, we got seven, six, 12, 18, 24, 40. We've got under $8. $7.90 for that electric motor. Yeah. Okay, so it took, what, 33 minutes, 30 minutes, whatever it is. Uh, I'm still happy enough with that. Now, that, appear, that, 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 <laughs> now that appears to be everything. It's all scrapped out. And as we uh, just said, about $7.90 just for this thing alone. Um, steel and all, cast. To be honest, I don't really know. But... Stainless steel will add a bit of extra value. I got the um, oh, here we go. I got this hammer here, punched a hole in that thing I showed you earlier, and this is what's inside. Oh, look oh, oh, at oh. A lovely ball bearing. When I play marbles, I'll smash your marbles to bits. <laughs> And then I've got no marble to win. Boom. There you go. Wonderful. Oh, no. Those crappers. That is the end of that. And now I can go upstairs, have a shower. The kids can have a shower. They can get cleaned up there, put their pajamas on. I can go put my boxes on, get ready to sit on the couch, have a little bit of dinner. Although I'm not hungry yet because we had a um, pretty big lunch. So um, whatever I'm going to do, chill out upstairs, watch a bit of TV. Feet up, yada yada yada. So anyway, we don't want to look up your nose. <laughs> anyway, um, thank you for watching. Uh, like, subscribe, ring the bell. Ding. Feel free to leave a comment. Even if you're new to the channel, once again, thanks for subscribing. Oh. Without you, I wouldn't have a purpose, would I? Except just doing things on my own with no one to watch. Well, with no one to watch it. Anyway, again, like, subscribe, ring the big ding, have an awesome day, Christmas holidays. I'll see you very, very soon again because I've got plenty more videos to do. It's just a bit at a time, a bit at a time. So, peace out, my friends, and ciao for now. Oh, don't forget, leave a comment if you want. If you don't want to, fine. I'll, I'll live with it. It's okay. No, just kidding. See you later.